Hey friends, my name is Osama. Thanks for joining me. Today I'll be discussing one of the most fascinating nuclear reactor designs, which is the CAN-DO. It's one of the world's most safest and innovative reactor designs, and it's truly a Canadian legacy. In this video, step-by-step, step, I'll be breaking down and simplifying the heart of the nuclear reactor. I'll start from the outside and slowly work inside. Think of this like a phone review, but for a nuclear reactor. So let's get started. Now, what is the CAN-DO? The CAN-DO, the CAN in the CAN-DO, C-A-N, stands for Canadian because of its Canadian heritage. The D stands for deuterium, which is another word for heavy water. It's a unique attribute in this reactor. It's, it's what makes it different from some of the other reactor designs that use uh, light water instead of heavy water as a coolant and moderator. And three is the U, which is the uranium, which is the fuel that this nuclear reactor uses. Now, starting from the outside is the calandria. It's the shell that houses the, the various fuel channels. This is a non-pressurized vessel. The fuel channels that it holds are around 380 to 480, depending on the reactor energy capacity, okay? So these fuel channels are horizontal channels, which are made out of a, a zirconium alloy. Zirconium is a metal which is unique to the nuclear industry because it's invisible to neutrons. And also because of its capabilities of being durable and heat resistant, many other properties which can be discussed in another five minute video. Uh, these fuel channels hold pressure tubes which house fuel bundles. Next are the fuel, the fuel bundles. Fuel bundles are literally the size of a wooden log. You can hold the you can hold a fresh bundle safely in your hands. The reason why is because the fuel is made out of natural uranium, so it's mined from the ground. It's literally a rock which is processed into fuel pellets. These are ceramic fuel pellets. Ceramic because ceramics are really good, they're heat resistant, and these pellets are housed in these metal sheaths, okay, or the bundle itself. Candu is unique because it also uses natural uranium instead of enriched uranium. Now, what's the difference between the two? Higher fission content, okay? So uranium that exists in nature has an isotope called U-235, which is very less in nature. Now, coincidentally, this isotope is what actually does all the legwork when it comes to fission, okay? It's what helps produce the fission reaction, which in turn produces heat. Now. To mitigate that, the Kandu is unique because it uses heavy water instead of regular water, okay? So let me simplify the physics behind heavy water. Now, heavy water has an extra neutron, which decreases its ability to absorb excess neutrons. Now, since heavy water doesn't absorb as many neutrons as regular water, it provides better neutron economy. Now, why are we talking about neutrons? Well, neutrons are what start the nuclear fission reaction. So more neutrons, better neutron economy means more power output, and you don't necessarily need enriched fuels. What are the advantages of using natural uranium instead of the conventional uh, enriched uranium? Well, you don't need enrichment facilities. Enrichment facilities are extremely expensive. They take a lot of energy to operate. It's, it's much more cheaper to, to use natural uranium. Candu is unique because it can also use used fuel. So the fuel that has been used by light water reactors, it can be reprocessed and used in Candu. It can also use mixed oxide fuel, MOX, which is another type of recycled fuel. Also, it can, it can use future fuel sources like thorium. Now let's go into on power fueling. What is on power fueling? Well, imagine filling up your car while it's running and it's running 24 seven. Well, this is what a can do can do, but safely. Now conventional reactors, they need to be shut down for months at a time uh, to replace fuel. Can do is unique because it, it can have its fuel replaced while it's operating, okay? So can do reactors are equipped with robotic fueling machines, which can pump in fresh fuel and take out used fuel. This is why can do's have a very high capacity factor, meaning the amount of days in a year that the can do's operating is immense. These reactors can operate years on end before having to be shut down for maintenance. And the reason why is because of this unique feature on power fueling. Okay, so let's move into safety systems. Can do is one of the safest nuclear reactor designs. It's literally the Volvo of nuclear reactors. I could do a two hour video on just how safe this reactor is and its safety features. But in the light of this five minute video, I'll just be going through 
the, the top kind of fe safety features that this reactor has. Number one, adjuster rods or control rods, which is the primary shutdown mechanism. So these rods are made out of a, a metal called cadmium, which is an absorber of neutrons. One, once rods are injected into the system, it's shut down within seconds. Number two is injection of a chemical liquid or a, it's called a poison. So these poisons called gadolinium nitrate pushed into the reactor and can also shut down the reaction. Number three is ECI. Now ECI is, uh, is used when there's a loss of coolant. This is another feature where the button is pushed and ECI is activated. So there you have it. There is an overview of the can do in the comments below. Hope you can uh, comment uh, what topic you'd like me to discuss next. Thanks so much for joining. Till next time. Bye.